Hello there, I'm Coach Chaos. I am the line coach and also the athletic director for the State Line Roller Derby Divas. I got started in this crazy sport by uh, a friend of mine actually. His, uh, his wife was on another team and left to join and actually start this team. I was a fan of it for quite a few years and kind of thought I knew what I was doing and they needed a coach and asked me to come on board and so I did. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing this. Um, we have a great team, a great group of girls. Uh, I work them really hard, but they love me for it, and then again, they hate me for it, but that's what it's all about. Um, roller derby really is more than just a sport. It looks like um, a lot of really strange things happening all at once, but putting all of that aside, derby is more than that. It is a sisterhood. There is a serious amount of camaraderie out there, not only within this team, but in teams around the nation. Um, any derby girl from anywhere can call or email another derby girl and ask a question about a drill or playing it about or about another team or about a player and that other derby girl will always respond. Training for roller derby is definitely no small task. Um, there's a lot of things that are involved in it. First of all, the biggest misconception is that you have to know how to roller skate. That's not true. That's what I'm there for, and that's what the rest of the team is there for. We will teach you how to skate. And once you're confident in that, we start you in on all of the basic skills. Uh, falling is one of the most important things that we teach, and it's one of the first things that we teach, because everything in this sport is about safety. And that is my biggest concern, is that everybody that goes out onto that track at all times is going to skate safe and skate fair and be able to step off that track the exact same way that they stepped onto it. We do a lot of endurance training. Um, several things on skates and a lot of things off skates. Even some of your basic exercises like push-ups and you know wind sprints and things along those lines, we still do that. We also do a lot of strategy training. There's some basic strategies. One of them is referred to as a short stack or a waterfall. I won't let anybody out there in a bout until I'm confident that they're gonna be able to skate hard, skate fair, and skate safe. We also make sure that every single derby girl knows the rules of the game. Everyone has to read the actual rule book that you can actually uh, get online or get from one of us, and you have to take a test on it. And if you don't pass it, I don't let you play. That's part of the minimum requirements that you actually have to have in order to be bout ready with the State Line Roller Derby Diva. And our referees are also involved in the training. Uh, I make sure that they are constantly showing the girls what the signs for penalties are for, so that they know if they get called for a penalty, which we hope never happens, but it does from time to time, but that's okay. As long as they know what that penalty is for and why they're going to the box, that saves just a lot of time and a lot of questions later on. I'd like you to meet a few of my veterans. Hi, I'm Hot Headed Hussy, number 28. I'm Sookie Smack House, number 999. I'm Betty Boomstick, number 35. Hot Pepper on Steak, number 68. Hi, I'm the Warrior 217, President of the State Line Roller Derby Divas, Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Team. Our league was founded in 2007 in Beloit, Wisconsin. The league has grown in the last three years. We have 39 active skaters, but we want you. Are you tired of being a housewife or wrapped in your career? Come on down to the skating station on 1230 Inman Parkway. Come on down and join the Divas on Sundays from 5.30 to 7.30 and Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8.30. Bring your skates and we'll see you there. As everyone comes to a derby bout, they're always wondering, what is this game and how does it actually work? Well, it's a lot simpler than you would think. Here we have the pack line, and there are two girls in the front of the pack line that have stripes on their helmets. They are called the pivots. They are actually the quarterback of the pack. They're going to be the ones that are going to dictate how fast the pack is going to move, what formation it should take, and be yelling out instructions to the other blockers. Then we have our inside blockers. Their job is to maintain and hold the inside line of the track. 
therefore blocking the opponent's jammer or helping their own jammer get through the pack. Then we have outside blockers. Basically the same thing, only on the outside. Then we have the back blockers. Now the back blockers have pretty much the best seat in the house because they can see the jammers coming up behind them as well as everything that is going on inside the pack right in front of them. So a lot of times you will see that a back blocker will be doing somewhat of the pivots job by yelling out instructions such as outside, outside, referring to where the other jammer is going so that the rest of the pack can shift over there and block. Then back at the jam line, we have the jammers. Those are the lovely ladies that have the stars on their head. They have a very difficult job. Their job is to skate really fast and to get through the pack as quickly and cleanly as they possibly can. As soon as they can do that, they can actually start scoring points. Once they make it through the pack for the first time and someone that makes it through cleanly, a referee will signal with two whistles and a hand in the air that that jammer is now the lead jammer. Essentially what that means is it gives them the power to call out the jam at any time. If they decide not to, the maximum time that a jam will go will be two minutes. Points are scored by every opposing team member that the jammer passes. So when she gets around the track again and can make it through the pack, she will then score four points for all four, for the three blockers and the pivot. If she passes the opposing jammer and all four members in the pack, that is considered to be a grand slam. That is the most points that you can get in a single lap. This can happen over several passes. The lead jammer will call off the jam by signaling with their hands going from their head to their, to their hips, letting the referees know that they are stopping the jam. If they're able to make it through the pack and the other jammer has not made it through yet, they can then call the jam and therefore take their four points and rob the opposing jammer of any points at all. Another way to do it would be if something were to happen and the opposing jammer would pass them, it's a good idea usually to call the jam right then and there if you think that you're not going to be able to catch that jammer and pass her to try to score points again. But for the most part, we love it, and I know the crowd loves it, when a jam goes for the full two minutes so we can get our maximum points scored. Hi, I'm Redneck Biatch, number 1980, Vice President for the State Line Divas. On May 22nd, the Divas will be hosting our second annual Expo Bout at Telfer Park in Beloit, Wisconsin. Come on down and join us for a day filled with family fun and derby action. We will be inviting girls from all over the area to come join us in this Expo Bout with three games of derby action and four teams. Doors open at noon, action starts at 1. Tickets are $10 in advance, $12 at the door. Kids, kids ages 6 through 12 are $5, 5 and under are free. Show your military ID at the door and get a half price. Bring a, a non-perishable food item and receive a dollar off at the door. Oh hey, I'm Damage Control, a jammer referee for the State Line Divas. I've been a rep with the Divas since they first started, and I'll tell you, there's no way I'd rather spend my spare time than come down here and keep these ladies in line. It takes as many as seven referees to effectively officiate a roller derby bout. So fellas, if you got some basic skating skills, and would like to come down and boss 30 plus women around and actually have them listen to you, Come join our zebra squad. Hey, put that skate back on. You can't choke her with the shoelaces. I gotta go. We'll see you at Telford Park on May 22nd. Join the State Line Divas for Military Madness on May 22nd. Go Divas!